I was disgusted, I was humiliated. I mean, my whole life was stripped away from me. I had a daughter that was three years old. It was a very sad moment for me. I go to trial, everyone's coming in there and saying, I'm the guy. They never identified me prior to trial. I was never placed in any lineup and I'm the only black guy sitting in the courtroom, so they said, do you see the person in court? Right there. What's so egregious about Leroy's case is that the eyewitnesses were shown Leroy's photograph in different uh, identification procedures shortly after the crime, and nobody identified Leroy. He was not familiar to any of the eyewitnesses, and yet six years later, these same witnesses walked into court and identified Leroy Harris for the first time in court as the man who had attacked them. DNA came, I was, oh my God, that's how I'm so happy now. That's it, you know, this is without a doubt. We thought it was the end of the story. I'm ready to go, I said, I'm ready to go. Ready to go. When Alfred plea is a plea that allows an accused to go into court and say, I am innocent, but I recognize that the state has sufficient evidence to obtain a conviction, and therefore I'm pleading guilty. And my daughter, I'm just 28 years of her life. 28 years, I missed 15 years of my grandson's life. I missed eight years of my granddaughter's life. You're fighting back the tears because it's a great thing that he is about to walk out of prison after nearly 30 years. But on the other hand, we know he deserved a different outcome. He deserved to be exonerated. He deserved, you know, for the court to recognize his innocence. And um, he was completely robbed of that. He was robbed of 30 years, and then he was robbed of clearing his name and being exonerated. It was being victimized again for the second time. First time was in 89. The second time was here after I proved all these years, and all these years I made him, you put me in the dilemma. The outcome in Leroy's case is really symptomatic of the entire system and the plea problem that we have. 95 to 97% of cases are resolved by pleas, and our system has become um, about deals and resolutions of cases and not about getting to the truth. Because I want to be able to get clemency or get the commutation totally. That's what I deserve but I couldn't sit around another 15 years waiting for them to decide.